Howdy all, Arthmail here with part 12, I believe this is, of my uh, Let's Play series. Uh, again, just as a reminder, it's season 3, playing my Witch Doctor in hardcore mode. We've actually upped the level again, this time to Master, just to see how we go. And we're going to head in and do some bounties, this time in Act 3. Hopefully, it's not going to be the death of me. Ha ha. They seem to be doing some decent damage, and as long as I stay out of some of the area effects, I think we should be okay. Again, we might have to drop it back to uh, Expert, I think, below Master, just to make sure we don't die in the long run, but the more we can challenge ourselves, the better. And hey, it's going to be inevitable that eventually I'm going to, to die, so we'll just avoid some of that. If we'll get out of the arcane beams, I don't really want to have that sort of pain. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad with the whole damage, but again that'll probably change once we um, start to level up a bit more. We're definitely getting some increased XP, which is good. So we're at level 42, about to go to 43. We need to find Sawtooth at some point, so we'll keep looking. I know he's probably not going to be down here, but a bit of extra XP never hurt. Oh, I didn't even realise we could have a set of champions as well. Not that that'll last long. Here's his mate, so here we go. Nope, they're not going to last long at all. And 43. Thank you. I need to find where this guy is. Or to. I'm guessing he's going to be probably. One of those, is it a hulking beast? The ones that can teleport around? I think it's one of those. Okay, so that's definitely a dead end. Looks so like you can hear the demonic serpents coming through the ground. Thou Sawtooth, show thyself. <laughs> Not this way, right. <laughs> Where my sense of direction and, and navigation lately has been shocking for this game. It's not normally like for me. Maybe it's because I haven't been playing this map as much lately. When you're in normal mode, it's pretty much sticking to um, to rifts. So because they're random sometimes, sometimes they're not, depending on RNG. I just don't play this level as much as what I probably should. Where is this guy? He is hiding. And we got ourselves some more champions. And we'll just get out of frost. Thank you. You never cease to impress me. She's always full of compliments. Always. My favourite is still definitely the scoundrel. He's just so witty and yeah. But some great comebacks sometimes as well. 
We put ourselves a ping, he's up here somewhere. And we'll see what we can find. Still got that bad habit of just collecting nearly everything I see for some reason. Probably don't need to collect as much, but still becomes habit. He's a serpent. Oh, I was not expecting that. There you go. And now he's a dead serpent. So we'll go on to. Uh, let's go to Stonefort Catapult Command. I think this is the one where you pretty much run the whole Stonefort map and trigger catapults along the way. Which I think we should be able to handle. Dragus soldier um, He's another one that sounds like someone from from uh, Game of Thrones. Not sure if everyone's a Game of Thrones fan, but I definitely am. Looking forward to I believe the next episode in Australia is gonna be with the Sand Vipers? I think it's the, the sand vipers at the moon. Some of the new characters, which will be good. Out for vengeance. Aren't they all out for vengeance? Really good actually the XP in this level. I'm surprised we've never been up another level already. Speaking of which I must check that after our next ping. Or next ding, I should say, ding when we reach a level. Oh my custom horn to get some champions in the background. Which just happened to fire chains. Not fun. Yeah. 44. One more step closer to 70. Well, sort of. <laughs> well, these guys just appear out of teleport. Start manning the catapult. No, they're following us. Oh, I think they're following us. Ah, there we go. Never really noticed that before again. See how much attention I'm paying. I'm paying more attention to killing guys and getting the loot than I am to actually who's helping me. At the moment, anyway. So head up the top here. Nice. We've got a nice little group guarding the, the catapult. That's three of five, two more to go. Ah, oh, I see down the bottom there. Two bastions keep sentries have joined your party. Good on them. So they should. Everyone else hasn't been helping out. Slackos. Definitely not having any mana problems even though I've taken the mojo off, so that's good. And I suppose this isn't the hardest difficulty you can try it on. Not if we want to die. Trying to avoid that poison. But I must admit also I've noticed that the poison damage doesn't seem to be as bad as what it used to be. It could be just me. In the past I've noticed it being a lot more intense when you're still doing something like that, but it hasn't been as bad. More noticeably in like normal mode, but 
a lot of my characters in normal mode obviously are, are 70 with a pretty decent high paragon but not sure if anyone caught my new video yesterday that I did for uh, my no arcane power required wizard uh, although it is using some items that you sort of are required to, to have to make it work to its best but it's using the Del Cere set and um, Living Lightning is the primary skill which or primary damage dealer I should say which sort of sounds funny because it's a primary skill but it does pretty well I'm, I'm quite surprised so we'll head to the next bounty and all the bastions keep sentries have left our party pikers and we're going to clear level two of the fortified bunker Hopefully this one won't be one of those super winding maps where I can never work out where I'm heading. But we shall see. We'll go up this way first. Yep. Okay. Swarm. I believe there's a new version of Swarm coming in later patches which could be interesting. They're nasty as it is now, especially if you come across an elite set and that, but we'll see what the new ones have in store for us. Hmm, I can hear a goblin somewhere. Down here, I'd say. Yeah, he's not appearing on my map yet. Possibly down that side track here, I think. Yes. Oh, it's a gelatinous sire. I believe they're the ones that split into about three to six different ones. We've got three more here. Oh, and they've split again into three more. And they've split again into three more. Huh. That is pretty cute. But no legendaries. That's okay. We'll pick up the yellows and go from there. So that was pretty cool. I think there was about nine of them there in the end. We are st mm, still looking for level two, but we'll take these guys on. Yeah, not frozen. Yeah, we need to get away. Stand out of that just in case. Another set of frozen. Very good. Now the question is, is it back up that way? Uh, let's go this side to have a look first. Maybe we'll get a ping. Oh, another set of champions. They're everywhere. And they are no more. Now, are we going to get a ping as well or not? trying to do my grasp of the dead then haunt them and then use oh, that's a dead end and then use um, <clears throat> my spirit barrage to finish them off hopefully I'll keep moving I don't think it's back that way could be wrong bad sense of direction again but we will see And we're actually about to go up another level. And I still have not checked my scores, so we will do that now. So we'll have a quick look. Uh, Spirit Badge now has for bottoming. 
Uh, flipo flipotomy flipotomize <laughs> uh, no thanks firebats will let go a new horrify a new hex definitely want to try out hex at some point because I think that could be rather cool uh, let's just make sure none of the others mass confusion that's handy for later on, but we need some legendary items to help with it. Uh, Medusa spiders and flaming darts, no thanks. And we've got a new passive, fierce loyalty. Mm, I think we're doing okay with movement and the ones we've got at the moment. We'll leave it as is for the time being. Okay. Level 2, please. Where are you? And it's right here. Ooh. Kill all the enemies, which we shall try and dare to do. We'll go this way first, have a look around. Got a resplendent chest back there. Check these other ones out first. Uh, legendaries are so far and few between at the moment. Four enemies remaining. That's not many. And here we are. And of course they had to be in the group. And they're going to freeze me. Agra of the Darkness. Sounds nasty. And he is dead. Uh, so next one is the Bridge of Corsic. The Cursed Glacier. Enter Icefall Caves, and we've got a ping straight away, which is handy. And we've also got a lot of baddies. <laughs> Start painting and casting our haunt around, and drop some grass for the dead as well as slow them down. And our dudes, little fetish army and everything will get in there and help us. Sorry mate, can't help you today. On a mission, got a bounty to do. Those full caves, level one. Cleanse the cursed shrine. So if anyone's got any comments about my Let's Play series, good or bad, I'm happy to hear them. Uh, being my first time doing this sort of thing, like, I think I need the feedback to, to really know how I'm going. Uh, you guys are the most important, the viewers, so I'm sure that I'll have other series, whether they be Let's Play or something else. And, and of course, I definitely want to try some new games, hopefully soon, that are coming out. Instead of being obsessed with some of the Blizzard based games that I've got, particularly obviously Diablo. And we'll get ourselves some elites again. I think Diablo has been my life for about the last three years, Partic particularly more than normal mode, unfortunately. I've never really got into hardcore, but I thought I'd give it a crack this season and see how we go. Did I do have obviously a, a hardcore character, I think it's a crusader but it's, it's at level 70, otherwise I wouldn't have access to the bounties in that straight away in hardcore mode here in the season so. She was taken very slowly through the series, 
and I think they've pretty much kept her on normal mode the whole time just because I was too scared of dying and wasting all that time and effort but now I've gone to appreciate that it's just part of it and when you do die you do die that's why I've chose season so if I did die it wouldn't be a big deal I'm not sure too whether you actually get all the stuff in your stash after seasons in you know, I presume you would, even though if you don't have a character that is alive. Whoa, I've got my headphones on and I can now hear the torrential rain that has started, so it must be pretty bad out there. Great. Definitely getting a lot harder to kill now these dudes. Going up to level 46 and nearly at 50, which is good. Hopefully this will be the returning point that we can reach level 70 a bit quicker. Which is not bad because I think I started at 38 was it I think when I first started recording today? Something like that anyway. So it proves you can go up a little bit you know, just in a short amount of time. Drop that right where we are because they always jump in on us, these guys. Just take their haunt and uh, spirit barrage and everything else is enough to hold them at bay. And obviously our, our fighting army that's here with us. That's wave two. These guys are going to be the ones that have the problem. The stalkers, interbane stalkers. Interbane. See, this is again another sort of Game of Thrones thing. Never as many of them that way. Interfell, interbane. Oh, we didn't make it in time. Oh, but we got a legendary. Nice. Oh, and I can't fit it in. I've got that much loot. Uh, we'll get rid of the blue item. Oops, and we just picked it up again. Doofus. Alright. So we'll take that. We'll actually head back to town quickly and salvage some of our gear. So we've got some marine. And then I think I've only got one bounty left. Also, quickly check our skills, I suppose, while we're here. Uh, acid cloud and a new fetish army one. Oh, nice legion of days. We'll eventually be using that. That's for sure. So we'll identify our sword. And it actually does even more damage. Nice. Do we have a mojo which I can also use? Possibly that one. And we've got some rings that actually do some decent damage again. So we'll swap that over. We'll, we'll leave that one, I think, for the time being. Uh, no, we'll leave that too for the moment. Use corpse spiders, but I can probably reroll that to vitality, I think. So we might do that. And the rest of these, do I want that one? Let's see if I just. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll stick with this one and we'll put that sword on. Try that out as something different. Just to see how we go. So we will oops, we'll go back here and salvage everything off quickly. We should give my follower some of my oh I just salvaged something that I probably could have used. Dope. Hmm, actually it does do a lot more damage. So I might actually go with that one and Reroll the gargantuan damage to something else. And repair our 
gear, so we'll quickly just head back here. So we were going to reroll. Oh, we need to be level 12. We must be able to go to level 12. Yes, thank you. So reroll our course and corpse spider, see if we can get some vitality. Thank you. And we'll also reroll our gains from damage on this one and see if we can get some vitality again maybe yeah, stick with that mana regen yeah, we're not really having much problem with mana regen thank you vitality and we need some gems which we just happen to have a few here so we will go with intelligence in these two and we might put some more vitality in. I want to make sure we're going to survive. The rest of these can be stored, and we'll just quickly go and do the last of the bount. Oh, no, we don't want to go through there. We're going to do the last of the bounties. So, Coravariat, Skill Kill, Scorpitox, Scorpitox. Sometimes. Pick up some of these materials now that we've got a pretty empty stash. Oh, another set of champions. Where's the guy we're after? We want to face these ones. We want Scorpitox. Got ourselves a bit of a pin there, so we know our mates up this one. Right, and the last dude in face. Drop some more water around him and the guys in the back there. Sweet. After all that, we'll head back to town and see what Tyrael's got for us. Well done. Here is your reward. And we went up another level. Sweet. So the cache holds for us. Nothing really exciting. Nope. Mm. Yeah, I'll stick with the ones we've got. That might be handy. Yeah, we'll wear those ones. The rest of it can be probably trashed. Salvaged. And we'll pop these in our stash. And I think we'll call it quits for this video as well. Thanks for watching everyone. Uh, hopefully there will be additional episodes to come. I'm also trying out some new builds with my normal characters, uh, another Demon Hunter build that I'm trying out. And I've had a bit of feedback from my other Delsairs Opus, Delsairs Magnum Opus set wizard that I did with um, the Living Lightning. So I'm going to give the, the Frozen Orb one a go because I've got a few items that really help it do some higher potential damage. Thanks for watching again and catch you next time.